Hello. On behalf of our incredible faculty and staff, I would like to welcome you to this virtual open house here at Bandung Alliance Intercultural School. My name is Neil Cantrell, and I am proud to serve as head of school here at BICE, where we offer high quality education for grades pre-K-3 up through grade 12. Choosing the right school for your child is one of the biggest decisions we as parents can make. There are so many different factors to consider that it can become quite overwhelming. That's why I'm very excited to be able to share with you about our school, which is located in the growing, beautiful, and modern community of Kotabaru Parahyangan. Here at BICE, we not only provide our students with high-level English instruction delivered by our certified and experienced native English-speaking staff, but we also prepare our students for success by instilling within them a biblical worldview and faith-based character, which will help them navigate and overcome life's challenges. Each year, we send our graduates off to some of the top universities in America and beyond to become world changers and difference makers in their fields of study. BICE is more than a school. It's a community where students and families grow together. But please, don't simply take my word for it. I invite you to come schedule a tour and see for yourself why Bonding Alliance Intercultural School just might be the education option your family has been looking for. Now join us for a special tour, which will be conducted virtually by some of our BICE students. Visit our website at www.bicedu.org to learn more. Thank you. Hello, through these doors, I'll be showing you the entryway to the BICE campus. This way is our office administrations. Back here, we have the secondary and elementary principal offices. Now I'll be showing you a few classes down the elementary hallway. In here, we have the fifth grade classroom whose teacher is Mrs. Stanford. You can see over here, we have a reading nook where students can read from a wide collection of literature during a specific time during class, and they're also allowed to check out books to take home. can use the Chromebooks in class and take them home when they have homework that needs Chromebook assistance. In this classroom is where the first graders learn. Here we have one of our preschool classrooms. This way we have a bathroom which connects both of the preschool classrooms. this door, we have the second preschool classroom, which is very colorful. And they have cubbies over here where they can place their belongings. Now I'm going to be passing it off to my friend Chris, who's going to show you the music room and NPR. So I'm going to talk about the music room and NPR. and. I'm going to talk about the music room first. Let's go. So this is our music room. As you can see, there's a lot of instruments that students can use. All the music programs and vice happening in here, such as all the music classes from uh, elementary to secondary, 
and all the music ensemble class, which is the after school activity and the drama product, drama practice. All right, let's go to the studio. The third studio, uh, as you can see, it's all soundproof in here, and if students get permission from teachers, uh, they can use this room for like a recording or practice. Let's go to NPR. So as you can assume in the name of NPR, which is multi-purpose room, um, this, this room serves as cafeteria and the concert hall. Uh, Vice holds a lot of events in here, like a, such a, like a big event. This is my friend Mia and she's gonna introduce our library. Our library has over 19,000 library materials to check out. Once a week, elementary classes come in to check out books and have a story time. The next classroom is our art room. Our art room has many supplies to create amazing creations. This is our computer lab. Our lab provides the latest tech to support tech-related classes, such as programming, web design, studio music, and studio art. This is my friend Kathleen, and she is going to be taking you on a tour of the science lab and English classroom. So this is the first of the two English classrooms we have. Uh, this year I, I'm taking English with my teacher, Ms. Lamertha, over there. And we read a lot of books in her class, mainly from C.S. Lewis. And we also have a beautiful painting to the right. On to the next English classroom. It's Mr. Squire's English classroom. I took his class during middle school and we, we bring to life the books we read in paintings. You can see it on top. We also have paintings made by classes, like this is the class of 2021, my class. And that one is class of 2020, last year's class. We show our personality as a class through these paintings. Yeah, and these are the two science classrooms. I'll take you to the lab. I did AP Bio in this classroom, and we did a lot of experiments we have a fume hood over there that we also use. I spend most of my time here after school. It's a really nice classroom. So now I'll take you to see Malguin, my friend. He's downstairs. We look around the sports court and the playground. Now, the sports court we actually use for a lot of things, all the way from basketball to um, badminton. And we'll just be there in a second. So, this is our sort of indoor sports court. As you can see, we can we use it for basketball mainly, but also for badminton and this normal PE physical education for kids. And if we keep going this way, uh, you will be looking at the playground. Now the playground actually is where our kids get to play during break, break times, recess times. Even us high schoolers and middle schoolers, we um, sometimes we take a bite out, bite out here to eat during lunch.
And over here is the uh, smaller playground for smaller kids. Got a couple sandboxes and smaller jungle gym. And there's the bell. And if we keep heading this way, this will be the entrance to our soccer field. And my friend Ginny will be leaving off from here. My name is Ginny and I'll show you around soccer field and swimming pool. If you look at over here, uh, this is our soccer field. And this is where most of our extracurricular activities go on, such as soccer, uh, spike ball. It's uh, really fun to um, participate in, in seasons and uh, participate in ISOC tournaments. Yeah, shall we journey on to a uh, swimming pool? <laughs> So uh, welcome to our swimming pool. Uh, this was uh, built by our BICE communities. And you can see that uh, there is the, the guest boys and girls room, as well as BICE girls locker room. And there is also a shower room down there. Uh, so we are now heading our way to the swimming pool. Uh, it is a big swimming pool with about eight lanes actually. Uh, this is a 25 meter long swimming pool and as you can see about eight players can um, join and participate in swimming events. So this is our virtual tour of our school. I hope you enjoyed it and um, see you guys later.